YouTube. So in today's video, um, I want to show you guys. Uh, it's it's going to be a small uh, tutorial video about the um, build a scene and how you're going to put the lights on it. So basically, this is the tutorial for beginners. Okay, guys. Uh, hope you hope you guys enjoy it. So hit the like button. Also subscribe the channel. It's very important for me. Also, in the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the material for the car paint. Again, subscribe the channel so you can see all the rest of the videos. So what I like to do actually is shift A. I like to do the cube. Uh -huh. Let's take it up. Okay, so scale it up. Now go into the edit mode. Check into the faces. Taking these three faces and deleting the faces. Now we go into the object mode. GZ. Let's take a little bit up. Okay. So with this kind of cube with the deleted faces, we go into the edit mode. We take in this two um, these two edges. And by hitting Ctrl B, we take in and making the bevels. Mm, something like that. Looking great. And again, shade smooth. Now let's put it up. A little bit GZ. Um, GZ. You see how I'm putting the, the scene? I want it to cover it a little bit of tire. So it's kind of... You see? It's kind of hitting the ground. Okay. Now let's put it how we like it. I'll do it something like that. Mm. Yeah, something like that is looking good, I think. Um, no. Shift Z. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay. Now, the interesting part, uh, the most interesting part is um, to make lights. So, Shift A. What we're going to take is the area light. Uh, G to grab by Z axis. Okay, let's go to the light data. So, first of all, uh, this light we going to take the rectangle and I'm going to place it somewhere here and I want it to cover um, oh, not this one, to cover all, like, all the car. So, something like that. Let's go to the render view. So, by power, I'm going to hit 100. So, if we take in the camera, so you already can, can say that it looks okay, it's not great, okay? It's not the studio light, but it looks it looks okay. You can you can render the image with with this kind of light. But what we want to do, we want to make it a little bit more interesting. So shift A, another area light. Uh, G to grab Z axis. Um, let's move it to the X axis. Rotate by Y axis. Something like that. And we will go. Sound. So let's place it somewhere here. Also, rectangle. And let's make it a little bit smaller. And by Y axis, let's put it a little bit. 
So what I want to do, what I want to see by this one is I want to highlight this side of the fender of the bumper a little bit. Okay, so let's make it, I don't know, 70. Oh, it's too much. Maybe it's too much, but let's make it a little bit, little bit smaller. Yeah, something like that is looking great. Okay. Now, what we're going to do with this one, with this area light, I'm hitting Shift D and Shift Z to duplicate this light. I'm going to rotate it by Y axis by um, 90 degrees. Okay. <laughs> uh, rotate it by Y axis and put it somewhere like here. And rotate Y axis. Let's take a look. Um, it's a little bit low. Um, no. This looks okay. Again, rotate by Y axis. Little, something like that. And this one I'm going to make at 20 watts. Okay, good. So everything is looking great, right? But I want to highlight the bumper. The bumper is not so... Oh, yeah. I want to highlight the bumper. So a few things. How can I do it? First of all, uh, this light... This area light is lighting all this, like the, the, the right side of the car. What I want to do is to highlight this fender. Because you can see this fender is highlighted, but not this one. So grab Y, something like that, rotate by Y axis. Yeah, it's much, much, much more like much better because we can see the bumper highlighted and the fender also highlighted. So now what I want to do, I want to highlight the front end of the vehicle. Again, shift A, light, area light, Z, Y, grab it by Y axis, uh, G, Z, OK, and now rotate it by X axis. Let's take a look. Okay, much, much better. So, scale it up, whatever you want and how you want it. How you see it. But right now, I can see this light. I can see that it's kind of already have this uh, smiley look. I don't know. Mm, I don't know what to call it, but it looks great. I want to grab this one a little bit further from here, from the car. Yeah, looks much, much better. Uh, let's take a look how much power this have. Maybe change it to 20. No, let's keep it in. Let's keep it as regular one, like 10 watts. Okay, now what I want to do um, I'll change a few settings on my camera, but again, about the camera, it's like can be another video. Um, it can be another video, and the the motion and the animation and how to put your camera, it's like different video at all. Today we're speaking about the scene and like how to build this thing and how to build this lights and everything so now uh, I want to make it you see all our lights are like white uh, white color um, I I want to kind of change it and I want to make it like look kind of cooler and more I don't know even how to call it so Let's change the color. For this one, for this area light, let's make it a little bit red. Again, like 
just slightly don't push it like too much also this area light the, the main one I don't want to change it I want to make it like white and that's it so this area light let's make it slightly slightly green one yeah slightly green one yeah, something like that and this one Mm, let's make it blue. Let's make it... Yeah, something like that. Okay, good. Now, we're going to select this object and I want to make... I want to put some materials on it, right? It's like... Okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to do something like crazy let's take mm, metallic to mm, 0 0.2 and what I like to do with the roughness is I'm going to increase the roughness so basically I'm going I want to see a little bit of car so um, yeah, just just slightly, like not too much, something like that. And also, let's make it like grayish, something like that, and slightly, slightly blue. Okay, looking great. Okay, so yeah. So we're not highlighting this this side of this uh, of the car because we I want to make animation just for the driver side. So because of that I'm not I'm not doing anything. But that's it. That's it pretty much. Uh, let's move the camera somewhere here. Okay. As you can see, um, the render looking gr great, and I like how it looks, just amazing. So, yeah, use it, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.